Afternoon folks, we're starting off at Iron Bridge today and with Benji and Charlie, come on dogs and being as there's been some activity about Lee's farm recently on the Maybe Shropshire Past and Present Facebook group I thought we'd have a walk down the lane Alright oh, here we are so, like I said, that's Ironbridge Road and there's Lee's Farm roundabout there. Let's have a walk down here. It's the 10th of January 2022. I can't believe we're on the 10th already. It's a bit blustery, so you'll most probably hear some wind, which I can't do anything about, I'm afraid. Right, the brook you see running down the side of the lane here is Lee Brook. I have a video down here before but I just thought I'd refresh. Oh, excuse me. I have asked before um, if anybody knows where Lee Brook actually starts or does it just come from under the road and uh, land drainage basically come on dogs Ben, get out of there you're going to end up filthy My own silly fault for coming down this way today where it's uh, been as we've had so much rain he's going to end up filthy again Come on Charl Every time I walk down here I can't help but look at the the uh, rock formations on the side here always intrigues me The meadow pit mound to the left of us and on the right is all the houses where it was built on the old Lee's farm site Come on, dogs. I feel they're going over the top with this saving life. Yeah, you're right, too. Kids, we've got to be safe. So, always hold handy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take care, anyway, mate. Yeah, it's all right now. <laughs> Stephen Pooler. Went to school with him. 
happy when we were lads. Right now. <laughs> These two paths to the left take you through to Upper Road and uh, you can get to New Road as well on this one. Um, but here, this patch of land here, through here, I can I can I can see it now actually. There was a gateway here and uh, there was a, a paddock and then there was a few bigger fields just there. And that's how I remember it anyway. Alright, let's carry on down. <laughs> Steve, I haven't seen him. Oh, it's got to be six years, if not more. Right now, we're coming down to the junction of the lane, which goes up there uh, to the farm, all there and also which is the start of Fish and Stinkers. Fish and Stinkers to the right. It passes over some Somerset Drive, as you can see there. Then it passes over Glendinning Way, and then it goes on up towards Reekin View, and finishes at the top of Reekin View. So now, Let's carry on down here. So this is Lee's Farm Drive. So like I say, them houses there are on Somerset Drive. So Phoenix Chemical Works would have been up that direction. Roughly. Alright, here's another part of the farm lane in front of us. And like I say, this is Lee's Farm Drive. Come on. I think, if I remember right, this is the last remaining part of the farm lane so let's just to go back on ourselves so like I say Somerset close there so somewhere near Glendinning Way would have been the um, chemical work sort of well I'd, anywhere in this sort of area I'd say between uh, which right up in the distance sorry you've got Rowley close and then like I say you've got Somerset close here so it's somewhere in that sort of area maybe this area you know sort of not 100% sure until I look at the overlay map which you can do yourselves on the internet anyway if you want to. Right. Now. The farmhouse. I can't remember the name of the road. Let's, we'll walk up that way anyway, so. Right now, roughly, uh, 
Hang on, just bear with me. So what you've got to remember, that I don't think the path follows exactly the same way as the lane, but it's not far off, I wouldn't say. On the left hand side here, there'd have been a bean field, and then what I can sort of remember, there was a paddock, another paddock, just about, you know, sort of where these houses are here. And then there was a big, big field down the back, across there and sort of up, um, where the show jumping used to be. And uh, here, I'd say, I think it's this sort of area where the farmyard would have been and the little cottage would have been in this area. But, uh, the actual farmhouse, I'm saying, thinking, I'm just trying to think as, a, as I remember it when, I, when, when the family lived here this a long time ago you know and it's it's hard to work it out like I say there was a little cottage here somewhere and there was a garage at the side of it and I remember there was an ice cream cap kept in there ice cream van and uh, I'm sure I'm right that um, Diana Vincent's dad kept the ice cream van there. Right now, of course, this was cow sheds and horse stables and bloody blah, blah. And then you got the rest over the back here was all fields. And then the farmhouse was sort of. In this area, if I'm correct, this area in front, because it wasn't too far off the red cliffs, which are over the back of here now, over the back of the houses here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm saying the, the farmhouse would have been roughly this area, so. Let's say that that road there is yew tree road, so it could possibly have been on the junction here, you know, this sort of area. But it, like I said, it's hard to blooming tell. With a couple of things I remember. The the trees all along the top of the red cliffs I remember them being planted and in the field at the back of the house sort of this direction here somewhere would have uh, sorry would have been yeah it would have been in that sort of bit further on down uh, there was um, a glider that landed in the field, not an hang glider, a proper big glider plane, and I can even remember the uh, the name of the chap who was flying it, and his name was Colonel Moss. I'll see if my sister, my eldest sister Petula, I'll see if she remembers what year, what year it was when um, the glider landed.
Anyway, we're going to uh, trace our steps a bit at a minute. Uh, this main road here is Glendon in way. Alright, we're going to walk down Police Farm Drive again. Back to the farm lane. Right, if you're interested folks in joining uh, the Maidley group on Facebook, please do. Just look for the, hang on, let me just have a look. Right, so the, we're back on the farm lane now. Right, the name of the group is Maidley and a solop in brackets then Shropshire past and present all right and there's another group you can join if you're interested and that's Lee's Farm Maidley Telford if you live on the Lee's Farm estate or have any information about it or just interested in it would be nice to have some new members all right we're going to go left here and go up what's now, well, what's known as Fisher Stinkers. All right, so, as I was saying before, on the subject of Phoenix Chemical Works, all right, bench, come on. It was sort of, close to this area where we are now so like I say this is Somerset Somerset close to the right of us and uh, Rowley close is over the road So the chemical works could have been anywhere in this area. Go on, Joe. Right well, now we're cr crossing Glendon in way, and uh, we're going up 
the rest are fisher stinkers. So the farmhouse was over in that direction. I'm saying roughly down by yew tree I'll see if I can find the map again the overlay map or if anyone's got the overlay map please post it either on the Mabley group or the Lee's Farm group I've got a funny feeling it's already on the Lee's Farm group Like I say, we're walking up Fisher Stinkers. And it goes down the side of the back side of the Abraham Derby school field. These dogs have both got big feet, so you can hear them splashing. Mind you, we have had some blooming rain. And there we go, look, there's the school field and the new Abram Derby School. Well, it's called Abadash's Abraham Derby Academy now or something like that. I really don't understand why they had to change the name of it. But there you go. They never leave history along London, uh, longer London. And, oh no, hang on. They don't leave history alone. Long, that's what. <laughs> Got me words blowing muddled up. Sorry, folks. I'd ma never make a news reporter, would I? <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, there's the old, uh, or new, new old Abraham Derby. Who remembers doing sponsored walks where you had to come through Lee's Farm and uh, PE lessons where you had to do cross country and and run around the farm and through the meadow pit mount over in the distance there. And uh, who remembers the pathway that used to go from the top of here from the top of Fish and Stinkers across the school field and come out at the bus stop the other side again that's another public right away which has been taken away from us 
for both folks. So this is the end of Fish and Stinkers. Right. And across through these gates, sort of across the top of this embankment, or somewhere near, there was a, a pathway that ran straight across the school field. But like I say, that's gone now. And one last thing, here, on the left hand side, used to be a football pitch for the school. I think that's what it was for anyway. I don't remember it, but I'm sure there's people who do. And in the 50s and 60s, there was a, a chap who used to live in a caravan or a hut on this field here. And then here was when the farm field started. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there folks, I'll catch you again soon, take care, bye for now.